Hi everyone, my name's George Farmer, also known as the Aquascaper, and I'm also uh, one of the founders of the UK Aquatic Plant Society. And today I've got with me Toby Radwell, one half of my mini aquascaping dream team. I'm back! Yay, so um, we've got a really exciting episode for you today, and we're going to be talking about the UCAPS aquascaping experience and it was an amazing event wasn't it Toby? Yes. We're really yes. really happy that so many people came and so many people seem to enjoy themselves. The feedback's been fantastic so thank you everyone. And um, yes Toby's got a little bit of an interview for me so... What was the UCAPS aquascaping experience? Ah great so the UCAPS aquascaping experience was um, an event planned by six of us from UCAPS. Who are the six? So there was, uh, was me, Dan Crawford, uh, Paolo Leal, Anthony Dimitrov, Ed Gurkog and Stu Worrell. Yes. Okay, and, the, and we decided that we wanted to have a, an event where people could meet each other in a central location and we could celebrate aquascaping and try to educate and inspire a whole new generation of aquascapers. George, where was this place? It was in Daventry in Northamptonshire in England. What was the building called? It was called the Icon Innovation Centre. It was a very good place, wasn't it? Yes, it was actually quite nice. Did you like all the sort of loads of open glass, steel, wood? It was like really suited aquascaping, I thought. Yeah, I, did, I didn't like it. It was quite rainy. Oh, it was a bit rainy outside, but it was okay inside, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. What was the best thing about aquascaping experience? Um, I think the best thing was just the fact that it was so many people into aquascaping in one place, it was just really good to celebrate it. Um, but I think the highlight for me was probably the hardscape challenge, uh, and that was just amazing. It was so great to see so many great hardscape layouts being created. That was probably the highlight for me. How many people visited the aquascaping experience? Um, I'm not sure for certain, but I think probably over a hundred. Probably think about the, 120. About in the, at the peak period, um, I think there's probably over a hundred people there. Yeah. Which is, a, I think it was a good amount of people for the size. You wouldn't have wanted too many more because it would have been a bit crowded. Yeah, I, I, I understand. Yeah. Um, what, ra what raffle prizes were there? Ah, so the great thing about the UCAPS aquascaping experience, Toby, is that the way we can actually afford to run something like this and not charge people entry, so it was free entry. So UCAPS had to pay for the building, we had to pay for accommodation. Do you know how much the, um, the all the stuff cost? Oh gosh, that is a really good question. Uh, if, it, if we had to pay for everything that was donated, including yes. all the raffle prizes, yes. all, the, all our prizes, all of the... Um, T-shirts. T-shirts, all of the hardscape. Uh, You're talking several, several thousands of pounds. Okay. Yeah. Who won the hard score um, hard challenge? Scape. Hard scope challenge was. Oh, I said hard copy. Ivan Lugovic, who flew over, especially from Croatia. So congratulations, Ivan. And he came up with an absolutely beautiful hardscape. So the top two were Ivan and Stephen Rhodes. How much did um, Ivan um, get? And what did he what, what did he win? Did he he won, won six hundred pounds in cash. Yes. A, a flu valve filter, external filter, and a flu valve LED light. So quite a lot of stuff. And some Tropica CO two kits as well. So quite a lot of stuff. Yeah. Will there be another aquascaping experience next year? Oh, most definitely. We we definitely would like to have one. Um, might make it a little bit bigger. We really did enjoy that venue, and we thought it was perfect. So. If possible, we'd like to maybe use the same venue, but open some more of it up. To yeah, to go like upstairs in the building. Have a retail uh, outlet there, because I think a lot of people wanted to buy stuff while we we're there. So next year we could probably invite some retailers um, and some suppliers, and they can come along, and it will help fund this amazing new project. Um, if there is one next year, I would definitely be there. Would you like to draw the raffle tickets again? Yes. You... Okay. So, um, yeah, so thanks to our sponsors. So, um, for the UCAPS aquascaping experience, we'd like to thank Fluval, Tropica, um, who else, Toby? Um, Fluval, Tropica, Aqua Essentials, Aquarium Plant Food UK, Aquarium Gardens, The Nutrition Company, uh, Aquatics, 
CO2 art. What kind of event was it? Hugo Kamashi, who supplied the hard a lot of the hardscape, so the brown holy rock and the grey pillar rock. Um, so thanks to them, thanks to Unipack, who supplied a lot of the other hardscape okay. and the substrates. And also thanks to Ed Gurkog from uh, Living Aqua, who supplied a lot of the hardscape as well for people to, to borrow. So um, it was a great event, Toby. Thanks for coming in. Did you think it was good? Um, you, yes, I did actually. Um, it was a good atmosphere. It was a good atmosphere, and especially it wasn't too crowded. Yeah. There was like a couple of hundred more people, then it would have been too crowded. Would have been too bad, wouldn't it? Yeah, about 150, then it would have been too crowded. Yeah, um, and did you go and see the auditorium? That was impressive, wasn't it? With yeah. the big projector screen. I saw the cafeteria as well. And the cafeteria, yeah. And there's free parking. So, yeah, anyway, it's a great event. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you see, please hit like, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, and share with your friends. What time is it next year? That's what, that's what I want. Similar time next year, we're not sure. We'll let people know. Um, so, do you know what day it's? What day was this event? This was Saturday the fifth of March. This event that we just had. Yes, Saturday okay. the fifth of March. Okay. All right. Keep on scoping. Keep on aquascoping. Bye. Bye. All right. Well done, mate. Thank you. That's scary.